you know, we had those start and stops in 23 where, you know, they froze the rates, but they always had that cautionary tale that they said, hey, look, you know what, if you guys misbehave, we're going to keep putting pressure on the rates. Um, January's um, meeting, there was nothing said. In fact, they said, okay, we're, we're not making the rates go up, but they didn't say, but if you don't behave, we're going to increase it. In fact, it's the first time they have not said anything about future increases. And I don't know if that's kind of a flag to a lot of people saying, hey, look, at we're done for sure. You know, the next thing that we're going to see is a reduction. I don't think rates are going up. At best, you might seem level for a little longer than we anticipated, and you might see rates come down, you know, so this spring, maybe this summer. But I think the rates going up again, I believe, in my opinion, are a thing of the past, at least in the short term. So I think that's given people confidence to enter the marketplace. And a lot of people were there, but they were just sitting on the sidelines. And I'll give you a perfect example, Todd. There was a semi-detached, you're probably aware of it, in Mississauga, which was priced artificially low, but they had approximately 90 offers on the property, right? So that tells you there's 90 buyers still sitting there, right? So that means there are people there waiting to kind of get back into the game. And that was a perfect microcosm of what I think is happening today in the market. Yeah, I hate to say it this way, and people kind of go, Todd, that's not very nice. But there was one winner. 89 losers uh, <laughs> yeah. in the yeah. offer process, yeah. you know, and, and you're right, Sam. I mean, what that tells you is that there is, there is an appetite for people to come into the market. Of course, price has a lot to do with it and interest rates do, but so then, then here, let me pose a question because a lot of people like to time a market. And I always tell you, look, you know what, if you're talking about investment real estate, there's no perfect time to buy it, just buy it, you know, get into it, get going. But if you're, if you're going to be a owner, you know, going to be owner occupied, you know, everybody's trying to get the best deal. Has the market, are we on bottom or, or and, and the reason why I ask that is because there's so many people say, yeah, but may, maybe I can get it for a little better deal, a little better deal. I, I think what's going to happen in the market's going to bounce. And when the market bounces, you know, we, the pent up demand, you know, the, what's accumulated over 18 months, I, I think it's going to be staggering, actually, the amount of volume that we will be able to do. I don't necessarily think prices are going to sh- overshoot like they did in 22, but that's because interest rates just aren't going to be there, right? Like, the, let's be real. We're never going to see that interest rate again. So let's get that out of our heads. But ultimately, in the end, I think we're at the bottom. I think, I think all we're going to see now coming into the spring, I think prices are going to go up. Uh, I concur. And we were telling people, December, November, you know, it's really a good time to buy. You can't pick tops or bottoms, but it feels like we're pretty close to that. And we were buying properties that are 10 and 20% discounted over a year ago. You're doing well. You're ready to buy a property a year ago. You lost out. Now you can come back in materially less. What are you waiting for? I mean, you're waiting for another 5, 10 offers. You've got a clear path today. So people have the herd mentality. And I think that's unfortunate because if you can have the courage to go against the grain, you'll succeed. And I think today we are pretty close to the bottom. And I think we tell people today, you should buy today and you know, can it go down a few percentage? Possibly. In my opinion, I agree with you. I think you'll see, I don't think you'll see 20% increases this year, but I think we're trending upward again. 